just a few quick updates we're going over here today. I wanted to talk about some Montreal Canadiens prospects, and the big ones to me that stand out in this kind of way at this time are Cole Caulfield and Alexander Romanov. Now, don't get me wrong. These two guys are not standing out to me for the same reasons. In fact, they are very different reasons, and we'll get into both of these today. But I wanted to make this quick video just talking about the prospects, giving a bit of an update, and asking a few questions. So, first off, let's go over the guy who doesn't have as much star power. Let's go with Alexander Romanov and give a quick update as to what's going on with that guy. Romanov, if you don't know, is the Montreal Canadiens second round draft pick from the 2018 NHL entry draft. If you haven't checked out any of the other videos we've made about Alexander Romanov, the story of Alexander Romanov video comes to mind, as well as a few others here and there. But Romanov is a guy whom the Montreal Canadiens selected at the 2018 NHL entry draft. He was taken way, way, way before he was actually projected to go. He was projected to go somewhere in the hundreds, but he went in the second round. And the Montreal Canadiens fan base was kind of upset as to why they took this guy initially because, yo, this guy was ranked nowhere in this range. Why is he drafted now? But give it a year, all of a sudden the guy was a beast at the World Juniors, all of a sudden the guy is a pro in the KHL, all of a sudden the guy is a top four defenseman in the KHL at 19 and 20 years of age, and then he signed a contract. That's where we ended off in our most recent update about Romanov. He signed a contract with Montreal, but he was not allowed to play with the team once the play-in series with the Pittsburgh Penguins starts. However, he will be allowed to practice with the team just not in a role that allows him to play. So still, you know, getting the guy under contract is valuable. Getting the guy in your system and familiar with what you do is valuable too. It's just many people were kind of quick to realize, okay, why are they so adamant on actually bringing him in when he's not able to play? Why are they signing him now? Why don't they just wait? Well, they spoke about this on TSN 690 earlier. It's mostly because he has the hammer. He can stay back in Russia, he's got the leverage, so if you want him, you got to give him what he wants. And I know he did say that he probably is okay with playing in Laval, even though he does have a KHL out clause in his contract, I do believe, I'm not really too sure about that, but I think I did read somewhere that that is the case. But Alexander Romanov has been in Toronto for quite some time, and in some pretty unfavorable conditions. Take a look at this. It's a tweet from Andrew Zadarnowski in an interview with VSE Pro Sport. Romanov talked about meeting Paul Byron on the Habs on his last visit to Montreal and receiving advice on playing for the Canadians from Radulov. He also talked about his current quarantine stipulation. And that is probably what we're going to focus on the most here. This is the image from the tweet that Zadarnowski posted. It's Alexander Romanov's condition at the moment. Take a look at this. I have not yet joined the Habs. I'm serving a weekly quarantine in Toronto. If I went straight to Montreal, I would have been forced to self-isolate from everyone for two weeks. Here's the kicker. In Toronto, they put me in a hotel. Excellent conditions, a magnificent view of the whole city from the window of my room. You can see the huge Lake Ontario, gorgeous weather, and the sun is shining every day. Unfortunately, I can't go out into the street. A man sits in front of my room around the clock and makes sure that I comply with quarantine and do not go anywhere. You can't even walk around the hotel floor. It really shackles me. If I was at home, I could train by myself rather than being within the four walls in Toronto in a hotel. It's incredibly difficult. Here I have no bike, no dumbbells, no sport equipment, and it's necessary to do something to put on weight as best as you can. The representatives of Montreal sent me exercises that can be done in the room. Another girl advises me to do more push-ups. You can't sit idle, otherwise you can become out of shape. I'm counting the days and hours when the quarantine period ends. And man, does that not sound fun! We kind of knew that the quarantine that these teams and these players are going to have to go through once they arrive in their hub cities and the cities where they play hockey and they practice, it was going to be hardcore. But hearing it straight out of Romanov's mouth saying, you know, there's a guy guarding me. I can't leave the hotel room and it's going to be like this for the next week or two. That kind of sucks, man. I'm not going to lie. Imagine that. The cabin fever must be going so strong since you're trapped in this hotel room. You can't go outside. You can't do anything except stay there. And you want to work out. You want to gain muscle, but you can't do it because you don't have the equipment. 
obviously there are ways to gain muscle just by doing your own aerobic exercises like sit-ups, like push-ups, etc. But it must be hard making that transition, especially for somebody who is as eager to become a pro athlete as Romanov is. But that's kind of the situation here. I saw a lot of Habs fans talking about this like, darn, he's like experiencing hell over there. Imagine not being allowed to go outside, not even outside your own hotel room. But in due time, once Alexander Romanov's quarantine period will end, he will most likely go over to Toronto and he'll most likely join the Habs for practice. That is, of course, if he is negative and he doesn't end up actually having the virus. If he has the virus, then that's a completely different story. We won't know if he has it or not, but like, you know, you just have to take the precautions just in case, right? So let's talk even more about a different Montreal Canadiens prospect. Let's talk about Cole Caulfield, shall we? Now, Caulfield is not really in the news at all. There's nothing going on with Caulfield. In fact, it's the lack of news that is kind of interesting to me. Earlier this month, there was this post on our Habs asking the question, what's happening to Cole Caulfield next season? And this kind of post is honestly really interesting to me. Let's read it out here over now. It's sent by a user named Rochger. I know Caulfield is supposed to be playing in the NCAA, but with the virus that isn't ending there, I have a hard time seeing them being able to play. Does he go to the CHL if the NCAA season is cancelled, or does he just not play? And this is honestly probably the most interesting idea out there, because the idea of the NCAA not playing, and not having fans, and not actually going on, it does exist. We know how America is in terms of dealing with the virus, and when it comes to Americans who have this virus, college campuses certainly aren't exempt from that. So when it comes to the NCAA, there's reason to believe that there is the possibility that we may not see NCAA hockey start up right away. So for a guy like Cole Caulfield, who was drafted by the Montreal Canadiens in the 2019 NHL Draft, 15th overall, and immediately became one of the most beloved players in the entire organization, what happens? We already know that Caulfield spoke to Mark Bergevin, and they laid the terms down pretty clearly. Caulfield is probably good enough to make the Habs next season, but they wanted to see him dominate the NCAA before making his debut at 20 years old. That's still the plan, at least that's what appears to be the plan, because that's the last update we had about Cole Caulfield. There hasn't been anything else, but of course, with the idea that the NCAA may not even start, we have ourselves some more reason for concern. Does this mean that if the NCAA doesn't start, do the Canadians just bite the bullet and they say, okay, here's a contract, Caulfield, sign it, you can go to Laval and you can play in the AHL? Furthermore, what if the NCAA doesn't start, and what if the AHL doesn't start either? There was that article earlier that spoke about how the AHL probably won't start as soon as they can because they want to make sure they actually have the ability to get people in the arena so they can actually fill out revenue. What happens then? Does Caulfield just suit up for Montreal, even though that wasn't the plan? I honestly have a hard time believing that they would allow him to do that once they already laid down the terms earlier in the offseason that this is what we want you to do. Obviously, NHL teams are prone to making changes in their philosophies over time, but because it's the last piece of information we've had as our statements on Caulfield, it does concern me as to what's going to happen next. Some people have been talking about the CHL route, and that's what the Reddit post over here talks about too. Cole Caulfield's CHL rights are currently held by the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds. They drafted him in the 12th round of the 2018 OHL priority selection. The Greyhounds have a few interesting names on their roster, some guys you may recognize from the drafts like Yarmir Pitlick, Billy Constantino, etc., Ryan O'Rourke. In fact, the Canadians actually have another prospect who's already in that system, that's Jacob Laguerriere. He's a guy who was drafted in 2019 as well. If Caulfield decides to go to the CHL, then hey, he could probably develop some chemistry with the silent and quiet defensive defenseman. And I say that with the utmost respect. If you've seen the video we've made about Jacob Laguerriere, I think that was a year ago, man. You know my opinions on this guy. He's not flashy. He doesn't produce points, but he does everything else pretty well. So talk to me in the comments below what you think about Alexander Romanov's quarantine, and talk to me in the comments below as to what you think Cole Caulfield should do if the NCAA doesn't come in. Does he just stay the course and just stick it out, not really do anything, and just work out at home? Or should he go to the CHL? Should he sign a contract? Go to Laval? Go to the NHL? Who knows? There's a lot of options here, but tell me what you think in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.